Hey guys, welcome back to Talk Nerd and Me. I'm Troy, your host, and today I'm going to be doing a little how-to with you, uh, Metal Earth. Metal Earth makes a lot of these little metal design things. They have licenses for Marvel, Star Wars, Star Trek, Batman, Doctor Who, Mobile Suit Gundam, and just uh, basic architectural uh, things also. Today we're going to be putting together a really simple one. It is the birdhouse. So let's get started. They package these things really, really good. So we're going to use our safety scissors because I am accident prone and I don't want to hurt myself. So we're just going to cut the top off of this thing and pull the contents out. So what we should have after you open up this package is one sheet of metal and an instruction book which will show you how to put this together. You will also need some tools. You probably don't need them. They're very helpful. Metal Earth does make a little tool set that comes with some cutters, some snub-nosed needle type pliers almost like needle nose pliers except without the, the sharp point on them and actual needle nose pliers now you might already have some of these in your garage or in your tool drawer in the kitchen um, if you don't like i said metal earth makes a kit for these and they come in very handy okay they have a handy little legend up here that shows you what everything stands for in their instructions they show you the recommended tools to use, and they even have some little uh, additional instructions. All the pieces are numbered here on the, the sheet. They correspond to the pieces on our little metal sheet here. We're going to start with our tool, the cutting tool. If you don't have one of these um, from the kit, you can always just grab uh, some wire cutters out of the garage, they'll work also. Step one is we're taking the front and back of the birdhouse out. You can see there's little, little tabs and this is very thin metal be careful you don't get if you get a, a paper cut with this metal I guess it'd be a metal cut at that point it's gonna hurt this is very thin metal almost like a razor blade thin it will cut you bad and you want to make sure you get a good set of cutters so you get a clean cut you don't want any burrs or anything left on here Okay, so we've cut out the front and back, and they also want the two uh, side pieces here cut out. I know these are very small. First step it has us taking the front and back of the birdhouse and inserting the, the, the tabs through the slots. Now, as you can see, it doesn't want to stay there very well. I mean, it's, there's really not much to hold it. So what they recommend, and what I recommend, is to get it to stay in place so you can move on to the next piece. Use either the needle nose pliers or the, the snub nose or whatever tool you're using. Grab the tab and just kind of give it a little bit of a twist, just enough that it won't, the piece won't fall off as such because let me show you if you don't do that little little twist after you've inserted the tabs into the slots and you try to move on to the next piece oh it falls off it falls off real easy as you can see the one where I just gave a slight twist it holds on there pretty well so we're going to do that for this also and it doesn't have to be, I mean, it's not like you have to twist at 90 degrees or, you know, anything drastic. Just enough that it doesn't slide off. 
We're going to put the back of the birdhouse on, same way. You really only need to hold it until you get that little twist in there. Okay. This way we can make sure we get everything lined up before we bend tabs over. So as you can see, those, those little twists do a lot to hold those in place. Now that we have that, we can take, I like to take the needle nose, and since there's openings in here, I, instead of just trying to grab it and bend it over, I'll put one, one edge of the needle nose into the hole and one over the hole. Just kind of get and they're very easy to bend these tabs, so you don't really have to put a lot of pressure on them. But that way, I know that it's laid flat. And I'm going to go around and do that to each of those tabs that I inserted through the the walls of the bird cage. Bird cage? No, it's a bird house. There's not a cage. There are no bars on here. So all four tabs are twisted and laid flat. Okay, this step also says the lace-like decoration needs to be folded down at a 90 degrees from where it's at now. Now, that, that's where the snub nose come in handy. If you try to do it with the needle nose, I don't think it would pull it as evenly and uh, it might actually crease the metal where you don't want it creased. So we're going to and you don't have to do the whole 90 degrees at once. You can do it a little time, then move, move over. Make sure you got the whole thing done. And you can see the difference here. So we're going to do that to all the lace-like decoration, as they call it, on the birdhouse. The birdhouse is a good one to start with. Not a lot of terribly tiny pieces, not a lot of bending. Some of the more advanced ones you might want to wait until you have done one or two of the easier or more intermediate level pieces. Because, uh, some of those bigger ones have a lot of tiny pieces and a lot of bending and uh, not a good thing. You don't want to get discouraged right off the bat. The next step has us cutting out this piece in the middle, the number four piece. And this is what's going to become part of the roof. So you, you can see it is dotted in the middle. It's kind of perforated. And it's telling us to bend it right along that perforation, almost 90 degrees, because this is going to be the roof. And there are tabs on here that will correspond with I'm sorry, there are slots on here that will correspond with the tabs on the birdhouse. We just gotta, gotta get them lined up. Once you have them lined up, if you're wanting to do something else, I uh, don't want to go straight into the next step. You can just give them a slight twist to hold them in place, or you can just go right ahead and, and bend them over, which is what I'm going to do because I'm going to go straight into the next step. So these tabs that are popping through the slots of your birdhouse roof, you're just going to bend them over a little 90 degrees. I mean, you don't want to do a whole lot of bending and unbending. Uh, that'll weaken the metal and it could make one of the tabs actually break off, which is not good because that's the only thing holding the metal on. So now that we have the roof on, the next step is there is a, another roof piece that goes over this, kind of an eaves, I guess. This is the piece that has the eyelet, the little hook, I guess. Uh, it's not really a hook, it's, a, it's an eye. And that's what you will hang your bird feeder from. This one also is perforated in the middle, so you just kind of give it a bend to get it to 90 degrees. And that's when you'll notice that there is actually an eye on that piece. The edges of this one is, are perforated, so we're going to bend those a little bit because they're going to... This is like a, a secondary roof, a roof over the roof. 
and there will be some space between it and the roof under it. We can adjust it a little bit. Uh, you're just going to put, and it doesn't really matter which side you put front or back, it, either side is the same. So you're going to put one side in the slots, and here is where I think I would recommend giving those little tabs a, a bit of a twist so that you can line up the other side of the house without this side falling off, as you can see. What makes this easy, there, there is a space between the two roofs, so you can put one end of the, your needle nose in there and just kind of manipulate that tab over 90 degrees to hold that secondary roof on there. So we're going to do the same on both sides. Our roof is on there. As we know, this is going to be the eye that hangs from it. You can just bend it up uh, so it's straight up and down, and your birdhouse won't hang all wonky. We still don't have a floor. That's going to be next. But you can see there is a space between here, the two roofs. Okay, the next step, we're going to be putting the decorative eaves onto our birdhouse because what self-respecting bird would want to live in a house that, without eaves, right? These are really, uh, they're identical, the two eaves. So it doesn't matter what you put on the front, what you put on the back. And these eaves are going to hide that space I was showing you right here between the two roofs, front and back. So as again, you're just going to line up the tabs with the slots. Okay, if your angles are just a little off, like mine are, you can you can take the the needle nose pliers, uh, insert from the back, and kind of uh, manipulate the outside roof up or down, however you well up or down, however you need it to make it fit to those those uh, slots because. They are tiny, the slots are tiny, and the tabs are tiny, so it's not the easiest thing to get those lined up. If you can't get one of the tools in there to bend your tab over, you can always use uh, your thumbnail. One of the most uh, overused tools in the world, right? Thumbnail. Right, right behind screwdriver. Okay, we've got one on. It should be a little easier to get the other one on. The angles on the roof should be pretty good now. It's really starting to look like a birdhouse now. Like a little decorative, old-fashioned birdhouse. But, still no floor. Birds are going to fall out. So, next step is we are going to take the birdhouse floor out and install that. You'll notice on this there is perforated edges. So we're going to need to bend those. Again, the snub nose is going to be my tool of choice for that. And you don't get in a hurry. You don't have to bend the whole thing all at once. You know, I like to bend one side a little bit, then the other, and then go back and touch it up. Because you're going to want these at a 90 degree angle to the base of the floor. And I'll show you why. As you can see in the directions, it is going to go onto the floor of our birdhouse. Now make sure that you put this with the 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 floor, the tabs facing down, because we're going to be connecting something here in a minute to the bottom of this this piece. Okay, uh, 
because if the tabs aren't facing down, you're going to have a heck of a time undoing these uh, tabs you're getting ready to do to uh, change it. So wood grain should go up towards the, uh, the birdhouse, that's your flooring. Tabs on the floor box you just made pointing down. Last piece, the little metal piece, doesn't matter how you put it on, it's uh, the same either way. Four tabs, four slots. So we push it on here and we're going to uh, use our thumbnail again to bend over all the tabs. You can use all the tools if uh, you have short thumbnails or you just don't want to do that. So we have a completed decorative birdhouse. So I hope you uh, hope this helps you get over the hump of deciding whether you want to do this or not. It's really not as difficult as it seems. Uh, it's pretty simple, cut and dry. And I hope you go buy your own Metal Earth kit and uh, let me see what it looks like in the comments. You know, give me a link to the pics. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It really does help us with the metrics and boost us up there so more people can see the videos. And it helps enables us to do more videos such as these for you guys. Later, nerds. Get nerdy with me. Tell me what game that you get on. Is it card or e? What kind of class do you play, girl? In an RPG.